So if that is equal to the negative of parent dot single image width, sorry, parent dot single image width, we're going to set insert the last element just before the first element. So how we're going to do is that is we're going to just first get the first element in the list of images. So we define a variable called first and say equal to parent dot single dot carousel item dot first. So we've got the first image in the list of images. So we now we're going to get the last image. So we say last equal to dollar sign parent dot carousel item dot last. So we've got the last one now. So we're going to say take the first element. Oh, seems like I spelled first wrong. So F I R S T. All right, first dot insert after after the first element we're going to insert the last one so we now because we have the last one so we just do this okay so that seems all right but it doesn't end there if you remember let's go in our browser and then we we, we see what happens when you refresh when let's refresh this and, and see something you'll see what i mean We seem to have an error somewhere in the browser. So let's go F12 tools and then check what the problem is. Refresh. Okay, say pass int. Oh, pass int spelled wrong. All right. Let's go and rectify that. Pass int, where's pass int? P A R S E. Yeah, seems okay. Go back, refresh. Okay, so now what I wanted to point out was when you take an element and then insert it somewhere else, what we expect to happen is that it's going to appear on the left hand side here but when you do that that's not what actually happens for example you remember before we actually initially slide this to the left when it first loads this image here in this column was actually at where this first image was supposed to be so that's not what we wanted when we take an image from the last and insert it and every time you do take an image from the last and insert to the left or take an image from the first and inside to the right at the end of the carousel you actually have to slide right or left once anytime you do that just to give that illusion of that it's not going inside of where it's not supposed to be so we'll go back in our function so now that we've taken the last image and then insert it after the first image we're going to slide the carousel right just once so we what we did at the top there we temporarily take the wait time and set it to zero and then it refresh its value back to what it was so we're going to say original wait time equal to parent dot wait time so we store the parent dot wait time and then we set parent dot wait time to zero and then now we actually animate the wrapper and then just animate it once to the right so we say parent dot wrapper dot animate set its left property increase it by single image width so we say left plus equal to and then we just append that to parent dot single image width plus px okay and also parent dot wait time because you want it to actually take that amount of time to animate and in this case it's zero so it's going to be instantaneous user won't even know that that appending has happened so we set back parent dot wait time to its initial value and which was stored in original wait time okay that seems about right okay so back in our firefox let's refresh and see if that's working so we click right sliding to the left okay we've reached the end of our carousel but it seems like the first image isn't being attached to the end of the carousel so let's do an f12 and see what's happening here okay um so we have a wrapper here so what we're checking sorry about that guys that's my phone <laughs> 
So what we're checking for is to see if the left hand side of our wrapper is equal to the negative of the single image width as you can see in our code here this if statement here but if you notice that the first time that we loaded I'll just remove this F12 tools the first time that we load our carousel that the left hand side of the wrapper is supposed to be a negative of a single image width so we actually by looking at our widths here for carousel in a we do know that the single image width has a width of 576 pixels so the wrapper on initial load should have a width of negative 576 pixels but it doesn't so that after doing a bit of debugging I did pause the video and check there actually seems to be an error with the wrapper and its container it seems like the wrapper isn't referencing carousel inner as its container because carousel inner does not have a position of relative so we'll go back in our CSS and just rectify that. So back in our CSS, we'll just scroll down and go check at what car where the carousel in has the position set to relative. So looking at carousel in we see that it doesn't have that. So we'll set that position to relative. Position relative. Okay, so now let's go back in our browser and refresh that. And we'll keep sliding to the left okay slide to the left slide to the left left okay now we've reached the end you can see this has been appended it's a continuous slider now so let me do that one more time just to make sure you understand what's going on so when we reach the end we want this first this purple logo here of mine to actually continue sliding from the right hand side that is when we reach this fourth element here we want this to be popping up to make it look like it's like a continuous carousel to give that illusion of a of a fluidly flowing carousel so sliding to the right second image third fourth image so you see the first image that we were looking at keeps sliding continuously inside the 